This video will cover the topic, Domain and Range from Ordered Pairs. To understand this topic, let's work through an example problem together. Say we are given the relation of s as s equals 9 comma negative 7, negative 7 comma 0, negative 4 comma 2, and negative 6 comma negative 6, and asked to give the domain and range of s and to write our answer in set notation. Before we start, can you tell me what a relation is? A relation is a set of ordered pairs like the one we see above with s. What about the domain and range of a relation? The domain of a relation is the set of all first elements in the ordered pairs. For this example, that would be 9, negative 7, negative 4, and negative 6. The range of a relation is the set of all second elements in the ordered pairs. For this example, the range would be negative 7, 0, 2, and negative 6. How can we give this answer in set notation? We can represent the domain and range of this relation by listing each number in the set in ascending order, meaning from smallest to largest, within braces, and separating each number with a comma. Our final answer for the domain and range of relation S would look like this. The domain equals negative 7, negative 6, negative 4, 9, all within braces, and the range equals negative 7, negative 6, 0, and 2, also within braces. Okay, I think that makes sense. Can I try an example problem to make sure I understand this topic? Absolutely. Say we are given the relation of s as s equals 3 comma 8, negative 6 comma 8, and 1 comma 0, and are asked to give the domain and range of s and to write our answer in set notation. What is the domain and range of this relation? Well, since the domain is the set of first elements from the ordered pairs, I would say that the domain equals negative 6, 1, 3. Very good. Now what about the range? Knowing that the range is the set of second elements in the ordered pairs, I would say that the range of this relation equals 0, 8, 8. Very close. But when a number repeats, we only list it once, so the range would actually be 0, 8. That all makes sense. So to summarize, the domain is the set of the first elements in the ordered pairs of the relation, and the range is the set of the second elements in the ordered pairs of the relation. Good work! You definitely understand this topic.